I am here with Laura Vandervoort uh, from Bitten, which season three is coming up very soon on Sci-Fi. Yeah. Um, you seem to be wedged into the sci-fi genre. Yeah. <laughs> so, was that a, a purposeful choice, or did that um, something that just kind of happened on its own? Sort of happened on its own. Uh, I love sci-fi, and I'm thankful for the the way that they write women um, and portray them. It sort of happened when I was cast as Supergirl. Mm. Um, the sci-fi fan base. Uh, liked what I did on Smallville and they sort of followed me along and I think that's one of the reasons I was cast on V as well was okay. because of that fan base and it's just sort of continued on. Um, I don't really go looking for it but luckily that's you know a genre that white, writes women that I love. That's true there's a lot of powerful women in sci-fi yes. and when we're talking about powerful women being the only one mm -hmm. that can survive the werewolf transition uh, on set is it a bit of a boys club or? It is but I'm actually one of the boys. Um, on the show and off the show, we all hang out, we get along, um, you know, the guys do their push-up contests on set and I join in. <laughs> I, I really wanted to make sure season one that they did see me as one of the guys because that is the way that the pack works on the sure, show. Sure. Um, and I had worked with uh, Steve Lund before on a show. We actually played husband and wife, so we already oh, knew each other. Wow. Um, and all the guys were just fantastic and really laid back, so we got along pretty easily. So it is a, it is a sort of a guy's set. But uh, the second season, we had some females on the show playing witches, which was fantastic. If you've worked with somebody where you are playing husband and wife before, and then your dynamic changes... And then we're like brother and sister. How hard is that to shift? Uh, not, not, not that difficult. I mean, when we played husband and wife, it was just a very brief thing on a show called Haven. Um, so it wasn't like we spent seasons playing husband and wife. Mm. So, you know, as an actor, you just, whatever the character is, you evolve into that. So. Since you brought up Supergirl, yeah. uh, you know that there's, I'm sure, that, I'm sure you've been asked this question yeah, so many times, yeah. so I apologize. Yeah, no, that's okay. But um, how do you feel about the, uh, the revival and uh, Melissa Benoist in the role? Uh, I think they did a fantastic job casting her. Um, I haven't seen the show. I saw the trailer, and mm -hmm. I think it looks epic. I think it looks well done. Um, I'm excited to see it, and, uh, and I think it's great that they're doing a fresh take on it. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited to take a look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of rumors uh, because the DC like TV and the movies are very separate um, and there are rumors that Tom Welling will return to the Flash TV oh, really? series as Clark Kent slash Superman. Yeah. If, I mean, cr contracts aside, if that was something offered to you to reappear as Kara on a show, would you be interested? Yeah, I mean, Bitten Bitten's such a a big part of my schedule right now sure. but I she was such a great character to play and I'm thankful to have played Supergirl uh, because it's an iconic superhero mm -hmm. um, but I always think it's great for them to do a fresh take on her uh, and uh, I don't know much about if Tom's doing that or not yeah, rumors rumors yeah. yeah rumors are evil yes <laughs> uh, but you know I definitely would consider it and um, you know we'll, we'll, we'll see what comes up yeah uh, you said that you're a fan of the sci-fi genre as well because of the strong female characters. Are there any that you particularly look up to? Well, I grew up being a fan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She, I wanted to basically be her. Yeah, Movie um, or show? Show. Okay. And movie. Um, movie first, obviously, uh, and then I watched the series. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, she was sort of my idol growing up because uh, I was into martial arts mm -hmm. at the time. and. Um, so I would say that uh, I didn't know about Supergirl until I was auditioning. I didn't know oh, her wow. relation to Superman. Mm -hmm. I thought, oh, this must be his sister or something. I had <laughs> yeah. no idea. Um, and then got into this this uh, Comic-Con world. So uh, no real superheroes growing up that I was a fan of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you, do you uh, have any particular, like, influences that you go from when you are playing a werewolf like do you go back to the classic like J. Fox. <laughs> in thriller do you know the thriller dance is really yes, what i'm trying I to do. ask yeah. I, I won't do it but i do um no there, there, there's no real references because our show is not just about werewolves sure. um it's more so about the characters and their relationships and, and the family dynamic um the werewolf portion of it i always feel like it's it's a, a b plot to what the, our relationships sure. are um, so there wasn't any prep for the werewolf side. I mean, a lot of our stunt sequences do involve animalistic characteristics, mm -hmm. encircling your prey and things like that. So that's really the only place that we involved it. Um, my, uh, Grayson Holt, who plays Clay, he mm -hmm. apparently to prepare to being a werewolf, ran around in the forest mm -hmm. naked. 
that was his preparation. <laughs> that wasn't on your list of things to do? No, 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 no. <laughs> he, he, he had that taken care of. So, yeah. <laughs> and because of all the physicality, what kind of training do you, I mean, you have a lot of martial arts stuff that you do in this. What do you do personally for that? Um, well, like I said, I grew up doing martial arts, so I had that background. I have my second degree black belt, so that that was a great base to start from. Mm -hmm. uh, and I love doing stunts. It's a, it's always a fun part of my day sure. to just mix it up from the acting yeah. and get physical. Uh, but you know, I, I, I train when we're not filming, and so do the boys. Um, uh, you know, hot yoga and, and spinning and things like that. Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you so much for your time. I thank appreciate you. talking to you. Appreciate